Welcome everyone to episode 13 of Let's Play Planet Coaster here on Theme Park Worldwide. As I mentioned in the last episode, uh, for this one I'm going back uh, to the drop tower to get this ride complete. I just felt like because it was such a big project at the time that I was building it, I just needed a little break from it. And I think sometimes that's really refreshing, especially uh, when you're playing something like Planet Coaster, where it is quite a tough game at times because you're spending a long time on one project. Uh, sometimes you start to think, oh, I just want to try and do something else now. And yeah, that was my stage I got to with this one. I just wanted to do something different. Hence why, uh, since I was last working on this, I've built two rides. I've done Jaws the Ride, completed that, and of course uh, put the full POV in and then uh, yeah in the last couple of episodes I've just built my Back to the Future roller coaster that's now complete yeah there's still some more work to do on the exterior of the show building but that will come as I expand the park around that section uh, like I say I wanted to get uh, this drop tower finished in this episode and of course at the end I'll share with you a full POV uh, once it's done along with custom audio yet again you guys seem to like the uh, the voiceovers I think they make a lot of you laugh I don't take it too seriously I get some people who comment and say oh Sean this bit wasn't very realistic and stuff it's just a bit of fun it's just instead of just using uh, normal audio off the internet or whatever I like to mix it up and put my voice over in and yeah just do it a little bit different but uh, yeah it's good to see that you all enjoyed the Back to the Future coaster. I'm really pleased with it. Uh, I think them two projects actually, the Back to the Future coaster and my take on Jaws the Ride are my two favourite things that I've ever built in Planet Coaster. Uh, I'm really pleased with the finished product on uh, both of those. I think they look really nice. But uh, yeah, anyway, onwards and upwards. Like I said, we're going to work on this and get this complete in this episode. And then in the next episode, we're going to open the park. And the one after that, uh, so episode 15, it will be about Halloween and I'm going to do a big Halloween event at this park, put loads of theming up, doing some shows, maybe even do a couple of scare zones and that sort of stuff. So get your suggestions coming in for that. Uh, but what's going on the screen right now? What are you guys looking at? Uh, this is me basically, not directly copying, um, but doing a very similar style set design to what's on the other side. Because obviously this drop tower, I know it's been a couple of months now, but uh, yeah, basically I've built two for capacity. Uh, a bit like Tower of Terror, well that's either got two or three depending on the version, and Guardians of the Galaxy now as well at uh, uh, California Adventure. But yeah, it's all about the capacity and improving that. And that's exactly what I've done here. So I've built two of the ride systems. Uh, you've got various different scenes that are built all on top of each other. And then the ride will pass through those. Um, so yeah, I want it to be pretty similar on both sides. But it doesn't have to be 100% identical. You know, it's one of them things. Uh, obviously looking back at this now, I could have made life so much easier and built this a lot different. I could have pretty much cloned it. And I've just thought oh, I could have done it so much easier for myself but hey ho you, you learn things don't you I've learned so much in the past couple of weeks to be honest with Planet Coaster it's a constant learning curve this game you know what you start to work out what different shortcuts are with the keyboard and all that kind of stuff uh, but yeah like, I'm just really pleased how the studios parks come together uh, what have we got now like five major attractions yes there's no flats or anything but five big major attractions of course we've got that coaster uh, at the entrance to the park Following on from that, uh, we've got the huge tram tour. Again, there's still space for expansion and some new scenes on that. And I might do something at Halloween with that space, so stay tuned for that one. Of course, uh, following on from that, we move up into Amity. We've got the Amity Tower Hotel just here, uh, my drop ride. Of course, Jaws the Ride and then Back to the Future. So, yeah, you know, there's five big attractions in this park. Uh, and I think that's enough to open a studio's park. You've got to look at Walt Disney Studios at Disneyland Paris back when that first opened. Now, there wasn't really any major attractions in there other uh, than Rock and Roller Coaster. There was no Tower of Terror, there was no Crushes Coaster, uh, of course no Ratatouille, Toy Story Playland. You know, all that's come since that area opened, you know, since the park opened. They've built all them areas and expanded the park. Uh, so I think five attractions is, is fine. We can justify that to open this studio's park up. And uh, yeah, I really want to get stuck in with Halloween big style. Now with Volcano Springs last year, I did do a Halloween episode where I just did some stuff on the entrance but it wasn't anywhere near what I'm going to be doing this time this is going to be full on Halloween and that leads me to talk on uh, about Screen Park Worldwide the big announcement you might have seen the video if not check it out it's all about where I'm visiting this year we're going to 17 different Halloween events and that's just the ones that are confirmed so far I could end up doing more 
which is a total of over 80 different scare mazes. Um, so yeah, it's going to be great. I'm going to be joined by loads of people on the channel. Uh, it's going to be really good and I can't wait for it. We've got so much planned. And uh, yeah, of course, stay tuned for Screen Park Worldwide Weekly, uh, bringing you all the latest theme park news and of course, scare industry news all throughout September, October and the first week of November. Um, but yes, as you're watching this, I'm currently out in the Netherlands uh, with Martin and Leah and also with Charlotte as well. And we're, yeah, having a really good time out there doing all the parks. And of course, there'll be different vlogs coming on the channel, a travel vlog that'll be on shortly and the main vlogs from that. And I recently came back from Poland last week uh, where I had an absolutely awesome time. Make sure you check out all the vlogs. They are now all online. There was a travel vlog, uh, one from Legendia and then two vlogs from Anisilandia and then like a bit of a wrap-up vlog where I also did a cable car as well. Uh, I didn't know that existed actually until I went to Legendia, saw it in the backdrop and I thought, hang on a minute, uh, I didn't realise that uh, this was in the park. Then I found out it's not part of the park, but it's actually in an area behind it. Uh, so I went to do that. So as you can see here, then I'm adding some more details to the exterior uh, of the Amity Tower Hotel. This is just about making them little touches to make it look better. And you can probably notice that the doors have now been installed, the elevated doors. Now, I don't want them on every single scene uh, throughout. Obviously, with Tower of Terror, yeah, there's only, what, three main scenes, and it does have the doors on them all. Um, but I do want you actually to see the scenes as you're dropping. I want it to be a bit different here. Um, but, obviously, I want them on the top sections here, so when the lift comes up to the top, they'll uh, open up, you see the view, they'll close and of course you drop down and just makes it look a lot better from off-ride as well, that off-ride perspective. And in terms of the storyline, I'll just give you a bit of a recap for what I decided to go with. Uh, we're going to go with the whole, um, these kids have decided to go in and basically it's a big abandoned hotel, they'll decide to go in and do some urban exploring but it all goes a little bit wrong uh, because they, they found out basically that they were trying to uh, get this book or add some sort of magical powers to it um, and then following on from that they've gone in it's all gone a little bit wrong so they get in the service elevator and it starts going mad and taking them to different levels things start going wrong they think they're going to escape that's why you see the outside scene and then of course you don't escape so you drop back down into the crypt back up again and then your big finale drop where they manage to get out so yeah that's the sort of basic storyline nothing too complex to this one it's nowhere near as in-depth the story as it was for like the Jaws ride that I did um, but yeah looking forward to uh, putting it all together and I'm sure the audio will be uh, quite funny when it's all complete and you'll find out in what in, like, about 10 minutes time you know um, but yeah, it's coming together really nicely. Uh, it's all about them little details, and that's something what I've tried to focus on quite a bit in this park. Planet Coaster can be quite overwhelming at first, and you've really got to just take things in your stride, take things one at a time uh, when you're putting things in, just so it doesn't get too much and too overwhelming. And like I say, this ride, it's a big project this was, and it was starting to get too overwhelming for me, you know, so I did want to give it a bit of time. And, and work on some other bits and come back to it. And it was definitely the best decision uh, because I feel like, right, we've got five really good solid attractions in this park, high throughputs. Let's open the park, see how it runs with guests, and then let's get cracking with Halloween, finish the rest of the park, and then do a bit of a Christmas event, and then I'd say this park will be done. I'd like to try and get this one wrapped up before uh, maybe sort of November sort of time, late November, early December, I'd like this part to be complete and uh, yeah, sort of then move on with the next project, you guys love Planet Coaster, I love making them and um, so I'll be going straight in with another series uh, there might be a few weeks in between it but it isn't going to be a massive gap and we're straight in with another series of Planet Coaster where I've already got my ideas for what I want to do for the next park and it's going to be my most highly detailed and realistic park to date and I'm going to be doing it a little bit different with the Let's Plays so yeah, stay tuned for that one uh, anyway, I'll uh, leave you a little bit of theme park music and then I'll come back to you uh, when I'm doing a bit more of the theme in here.
So as you can see here, just working on the corridor now. So as soon as you come up into that drop shaft, uh, you then move forwards through this corridor section and then into the main drop shaft where all the different scenes are on this ride. Uh, now obviously with this one, there's not loads of detail uh, scenery inside here. There's not loads going on. It's more just a quick, what, five or six second section of the ride where you move forward into that main drop shaft. So we've got loads of different doors and windows that have been boarded up, mirrors falling off the wall, portraits, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then of course put the flooring in and then a nice roof on there and then bam, it's done nice and easy. Same with the other side. There's a few slight differences uh, with this one, but yet again, it's quite nice putting them little Easter eggs in there because it makes it a little bit different for the rider. And obviously a lot of enthusiasts would go to this park and think, oh, look at this here. You know, it's a bit different. It's like if this was real, I'd be like this in the vlogs, wouldn't I? You know, I'd be thinking, oh, you know what? It's actually very different in this one or that's in a different place to it is on the other side and I prefer this one because of X, Y and Z and yeah so that's kind of quite a good thing to do with that. Uh, it's important really that we do these little things and uh, yeah it just freshens it up. Here's me just adding the lighting in because obviously for how it will look in there it will be dark uh, when the rider comes through. There's cobwebs on the ceiling, the floor and the walls in there uh, and obviously the lift moves over. To keep it realistic, ideally you'd say that them cobwebs are painted onto the floor because obviously that is the track for the lift system to come forward. But uh, obviously we're in the game mode here so it will uh, work normally. I have had quite a few people comment and say, Sean, how are you placing scenery so close to a ride? Uh, basically, if you go into the settings on the game, you can turn it off uh, how close you, you can put the scenery. So it means that you can literally build it, it around roller coaster track if you want to. Uh, obviously, you need to be careful because it won't automatically move it um, if it is in the way. You do have to manually do it, but it can be quite handy for just putting in lots more little details, uh, which is what I like to do with this one. I do love some of these new bits that came with the vintage pack and uh, I did mention in the last episode that I might do some sort of vintage area in this park and uh, a lot of people were like, yeah, I really want you to do that, Sean. So that's confirmed. I will do a bit of a vintage area uh, with a bit of a, a wooden roller coaster there, I'm thinking. So that might work quite nice. And uh, again, keep your suggestions coming on the video for that one. But yeah, a lot of these from the vintage pack just here, really nice uh, building details that you could do a lovely boardwalk style park. And to be honest, I'd like to do a vintage park at some point and I don't really want to wait ages. So before I do my next big project in Planet Coaster, I might do like a little vintage park first, sort of over winter, like January, February, and then kick in with the main one, you know, sort of March next year. But we'll see how things go with timings, you know, see how things go. I don't want to plan too much ahead, but I do love the vintage pack and I have been working on a vintage park when I've had a bit of spare time. Uh, off camera that no one's seen it's just my personal park and I do love some of the stuff that you can do in the vintage pack it's probably my favorite expansion in the game my favorite DLC and I think Planet Coaster Frontier they've released some brilliant DLC um, but that's certainly one of my favorites I do really like it so now that all the interior of the building is done, it's all about just building that uh, show building back up now really and covering it up and uh, that's all complete there. And uh, here you can see me now starting to work on the attraction entrance. I want this to look like it's been sealed off abandoned for quite some time so here you can see that I'm putting in lots of these wooden uh, sections here I've used so many of these in this park and on this building in particular I just think they really fit with what I wanted which was a bit of a, a Mediterranean Spanish style feel with a lot of this park and I think it's really worked and it really does look like that it's like I'm really pleased with the whole entrance area and the, the building details I think they look really nice and um, but yeah this is just making the entrance area to this ride and, and finishing it off really as I'm moving back on the exterior now because the interior is done it's about the exterior and putting it all together now and so you can see I'm putting some signs in saying Amity Tower there and I'm putting in some uh, danger like no entry uh, signs here as well which is uh, what you'd have on that sort of building isn't it obviously it'll be covered up and now this building looks way too nice so the plan here is to put all these different uh, leaves and foliage growing up, all these vines, just to give it a bit of an old uh, abandoned feel. But like I said when I was building this, you might not remember now, but I did say that a big part of this drop ride is that I want it to look really nice and still look the part from the entrance because you, when you see it in the distance, it still needs to look like a really impressive ride and, and not too dated. So I've, I've been really careful here with these vines and placing them to make sure that it still looks really good um, from down at the front of the uh, park as well. 
Um, but yeah, adding a lot on here still, but the good thing is from a distance, you can't really tell that there's loads of vines and stuff on there. It's more when you get a bit closer, uh, because I do want it to look, I don't want it to look like an eyesore. To me, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, California Venture, looks like an eyesore from the rest of the park. When it was Tower of Terror, yes, I know it was like an abandoned hotel, but it still didn't look like an eyesore. To me, the fact that Guardians of the Galaxy's got all these satellite dishes, it's all these different colors, there's blues, greens, reds, oranges, it just looks a mess in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, the ride itself looks decent inside. I'll never love it as much as Tower of Terror because that's where my heart was. But for me, the exterior should be just as important and how it looks from a distance. And that's why at the top here, I'm now putting on this uh, signage. So again, these are from that awesome vintage DLC. Love that pack so much. And uh, yeah, I'm writing uh, the Amity Tower Hotel along just there. So Amity Tower is going at the top and then the hotel, as you'll see in a moment, going a little bit further down. These look great in the dark. I'll uh, show you them in night mode in just a second when they're all up. Um, but yeah, these look really nice in the dark as well. You can really customise these as well. You can change the colour uh, of anything on there. You can change the colour of each uh, individual light, um, which is really good. Of course, the letter itself, the interior of the letter, the exterior of the letter, all sorts of what you can do on it. And uh, yeah, Amity Tower Hotel, it's starting to come together now, all these finishing touches. It's amazing, isn't it? And uh, yeah, there it is in the dark. But obviously this attraction does lack some lighting, so I have was worked on that as well a bit more lighting and I thought you've seen me do a lot of lighting you don't need me to show you that and how it's done uh, you've seen how I do it and hiding park hands and stuff uh, and that's pretty much what I've done just here yet again with this project now it's just putting them final details on the exterior of the show building just here. Uh, nowhere near as detailed on the sides and top of the building as it is at the front, mainly because you're not really going to see it. Uh, because on the right hand side, you've got Back to the Future there and you can't really see the side of the show building that much. This side, the only reason you'll be able to see it is if you're on Jaws uh, and from down ground level, just putting them bits of scenery on makes it look uh, just as nice really as it does at the front, you know. And obviously when it's dark at night as well, there's a little bit of lighting on it which you'll see in the finished product in just a couple of minutes and then yeah that's about all really just putting these finishing bits on like I say I'm really pleased with it for me the show building should you know look really nice all the way through even then the bits on the top there you can't see from ground level uh, in game I think it's nice to add them because it just makes it look a bit nicer it's like back to the future I know it does need a lot more doing to the exterior and um, but look at it from guest level down on the ground it looks absolutely fine it's more just for me and the gameplay seeing big ugly show buildings uh, I did it the same when I did the pirate dart ride uh, with Volcano Springs like I say if you've not seen my previous series go and check it out it's a much bigger project in terms of the size of the park uh, I do prefer the rides I've done in this and the detailing but don't get me wrong there's still some cracking stuff in there I did a massive haunted house I did a huge pirate dart ride uh, and some very intense hashtag rock work and so make sure you do check that one out. It's uh, well worth a watch here on Theme Park Worldwide. And uh, yeah, just going back a bit to the channel, uh, there's so much to come. Honestly, it's such a busy time at the moment, like I say, around the Netherlands, riding Phoenix my first time, seeing Port Laguna and Avalon at Toverland. It's my third visit to Toverland, first time seeing the new areas. Back to Wallaby Holland, get my last ride in on Robin Hood before that gets RMC'd for next year. But I'll definitely going to ride it next year for its RMC conversion as well. And yeah, doing lots of other parks that I've never done before. So stay tuned for those vlogs. They're going to be coming on in the next few days into next week. And yeah, stay tuned for those. And as soon as that trip's done, a few days to go. And me and Alex are off out on our big uh, Florida trip. And then it's the main bulk of Halloween. So there really is so much to come on the channel. But of course, there'll still be Planet Coaster. Uh, the next few episodes, of course, opening the park will be a little bit shorter. Because I'm not building anything. Uh, Halloween, again, it won't be a ridiculously long episode. Um, but I do try my best to, to do as much as I can with this game. And thank you very much for sticking by me over winter, as always. There'll be uh, a lot more Planet Coaster coming out. But uh, there you go. That is all. I'm going to leave you with a full POV now. The complete finished experience of the Amity Tower Hotel. My drop ride here at Ocean Bay Studios. In the next episode, we'll open the park. I'm Sean Sandbrook. This is Theme Park Worldwide. And thank you for watching episode 13 of Let's Play Planet Coaster. Enjoy the ride.
Right then, crew, we need to get in, get the book, and get out as fast as possible. The Amity Tower Hotel has been abandoned for nearly 10 years now, so the elevator ride may be a little bumpy, so hold on. You may be wondering why the hotel sits abandoned today. Guests in these rooms complained of seeing spirits from the family that used to live here before it was a hotel. Hmm, tourists, eh? Now that was much easier than expected. There's the book. Someone go and grab it. Wait, what's happening? The doors have just closed. What's going on with the elevator? Well, that was a close shave. Forget the book. Um, it's getting a bit creepy in here. We need to get out straight forward. What is happening? We've lost total control. It looks like the rumours were true. The hotel's cursed. We need to get out. Please, help me press all these different buttons. We need to get control back of the lift. I think we've got back control, but that means one thing. We've got to go straight back down. Looks like we've made it back down to the ground level. Now follow me back to the lobby and let's get out of here. We're all very lucky to be alive today, and we've learnt our lesson. Let's not explore abandoned buildings anymore. We need to stick to safe destinations in the future. Thanks for joining us, folks.